Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Daniel here. I do regular reviews and reactions right here. Come check out what I got in the backlogs, inventory, all that good stuff. If you're new here, I have done series stuff uh, such as The Wire, Community, working through series such as New Girl, Friends, and of course The Sopranos. Tons of stuff over on Patreon, of course, if you want the full-length, uncut, unedited reaction, etc, etc, etc. So, we're here, season three of The Sopranos, season three, episode two. It's called Pro, Sh Pro Shy Levushka. And I saw the thumbnail already, so it looks like Janice, or Parvati, Parvati, is back in the picture. And here's what I think is going to happen. It's kind of like what I was saying at the end of um, season two, where I thought the story was going to kind of like shift gears now to finding out what, what happened to, G uh, to Richie. Because he has a son now. He was trying to like get on, get in on the up and up, trying to make moves, and suddenly his dad's dead. And then we have Janice here, who's responsible for the death. And then you just have just like all these little uh, people that are gonna start asking questions, like what happened? You know, we don't really necessarily know what happened um, with the whole pussy angle too, in regards to the FBI, right, or the uh, the government that are watching The Sopranos at this point. Um. But I think in the last episode was they were trying to no, okay, so in the last episode they finally planted something in the the basement, so they're gonna try to uh, um, uh, just get get something. They have a wiretap, basically, you know, so they have something set up, a listening device, and they're gonna just basically like eavesdrop and see what what's supposed to being planned, how do we can bring down the sopranos? Um, I can't remember if they said this is legal though. Because they had to do this when no one was at the house. You know what I mean? So, is that legal? I mean, what what, what are the... the? I know I, I saw The Wire, but that was kind of like set in the past. Or not really the past, but the, the, the law definitely changes over time, you know? So I guess I'm just kind of curious as to how all that works, you know, legally. I know as someone's going to try to explain it in the comments, and I'll definitely try to understand it, but um, let's just hop in and see what's going on here. I'm guessing this is first what we're going to kind of kickstart the whole Richie angle, because why is Janice coming back? Why is she here? So let's just hop in, have a good time, discuss afterwards. But before I do, I do want to remind you guys, Patreon for the full length, uncut, unedited reaction, as well as early access to everything else you see here on the channel, as well as exclusive reactions. So if any of that interests you, Hop on over to Patreon, of course. If you can't support me over there, of course, support me right here on YouTube. All you gotta do is like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Now let's stop talking. Hop in, have a good time, discuss afterwards. All right, guys. Here we go. Oh my god. That was meant to happen, right? A second firebomb, sanitation, war, retaliation expected. Okay. Cold cuts. Oh my god, is this Tony? Oh my god. Oh yeah, what happened to him? What, what's going on here? What? Did I forget something? What happened in the last episode? I thought it ended with the lamp. What happened here? Do you have another panic attack? Can't remember. Oh, oh my god. god. Yeah, exactly. Tony! Oh my god, Tony. Are you alright? Uncle Ben. What happened? Uncle Ben. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? Damn. What a groundbreaking effect. Reverse. Who the fuck? What were they doing? Hey, what are you doing here? We have to drive back here because some schmuck stole the VCR from the common room. We? Oh, look at him. It's a great movie. For a class just finished. Damn. New hair color? What do you want to get to watch old movies? Who's we? Oh boy. You brought him to your parents' house? I'll be ready to bolt in a sack. Mr. Soprano? Hey, I'm Noah Tannenbaum. How you doing? Uh. I appreciate you letting a screen here. You a film buff? Let's hit the road. Uh huh. Damn. Meadow looking good? Oh, actually, with this dork. Hyper capitalist <laughs> self advancement in the era of the studio system. Are you, uh, a little early Fucking? <laughs> What's your background, Noel? Uh-oh. Uh, I'm from Los Angeles, West L.A. My family's in the business. I mean, show business. I don't know why they call it the business. Those old Tarzan movies. My dad's an entertainment lawyer. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, what, I, what I mean is, like, we're Italian. Oh, my dad is Jewish and my mother's family is African American. You're a uh, Ditsu. Excuse me? What the fuck? Uh, charcoal briquette, a moulignon. What? You see your little friend up there. She didn't do you any favors bringing you into this house. Well, what? I don't know what the fuck she was thinking. We'll get to that later. Are you racist? So when my little girl comes down the stairs, you're gonna say how nice it was to meet me. Then you're gonna go drop her off at school and you're gonna say goodbye. Come on, if you wanna see the garden state. We're gonna drop by hunters, I wanna meet Noah. Then we'll be back to pick up my laundry. Later, Dad. What? That really set him off. God damn it, really? My God. Oh, that's what it was. It looked like blood. It was just V8 juice. Mm. Uncle Ben. Oh. Was there not red on the ground? It looked like there was red on the ground. Was that was he bleeding or something? I've got time for these oh, he was flash. bleeding. Oh. Hey Ma. Look who co-ops. So, how's it going? Who's this? I wish the Lord would take me now. <laughs> oh, she hasn't in the changed. Meantime, what should the uh, horse whisperer and Omerta? Well, what's wrong? Tell me. What, are you going to freak out every time I try to do something nice for you? What's this? She's going to finish baby journals from a long time ago. My idea. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I remember these. Carmela gave you one of these for each of the kids when they were born. Oh, wow. It's empty. That's hilarious. Supposed to fill these out. 20 years. Fat fucking nothing. Now, look here. I don't like that kind of talk. <laughs> Stop it. It upsets me. Come on, she says the same thing. She's kids. like a broken Slowly record. Memories. You can't write stuff down from your life for your grandkids. It's none of anybody's business. Yeah, you're too busy feeling sorry for yourself. Why do anything if there's not something in it for her? Nobody airline tickets? The tickets were sold. Oh, yeah. Did you say that? Or did the Fed say that? This is important. But what are you going to say? If they put oh, she probably thing? fucked you somehow. Because the only reason they let you go is to get your cooperation. What are you going to say from now on? I never stated those tickets were stolen, capiche? Now, Barb will testify I didn't say it, but you got to back her up in the future. Yeah. Any kind of deal they try to make, you keep your mouth shut. Hmm. Interesting. Wasn't the wasn't the public enemy or the public enemy like remade? Like Johnny Depp? Mm. Oh, here we go. Thanks a lot, Dad. Huh. Did you say something to Noah? What did you say? He was all quiet at Hunter. She thinks he's a snob, and now he's just sitting out in the car. Oh, you didn't hear me? Maybe if I say it in Swahili. <laughs> Does Meadow not know the type of person her father is? Is your laundry done, bitch? Please, Tony's gonna smack know. someone like that in this episode, watch. <laughs> what are you doing? This is not the neighbors? Oh, God. What is this? What? Uh, your mother died. <gasps> your kid. I mean, uh, Jesus Christ. Svetlana just called. What? Svetlana thought she was asleep. Oh, God. Is this a dream? Yeah, you... Mm, yeah, you did not exactly have the best uh, interaction with her. Oh, God. Now he's going to have more of these panic attacks. Emotion oh, God. Svetlana's waiting for us over there. She's dead. You I'm sorry, Dad. You better not be like... That your mom died. Me too. Hey, your grandmother loved you. She loved both you two. Very much. Wow. Just like that. Wow. I'm kind of speechless. Because I thought she was just going to be this manipulative force the entire series. What the hell? <sighs> she was in no pain, Tony. What about the cause of death, did they say? Massive stroke. Yeah. She will not be finishing journal. I yeah. I promise to you, Tony. It does not often happen with me that these old ones get away with something. A journal? Mm. Uh, Carmela's gonna fill oh. it out. 
Who really remembers books you bought her when the kids were born? She didn't do them? Oh, Tony. She never touched them. Oh. Uh. What? Okay, now I'm scared. What's what's going on? Grandma? What why? Has Svetlana been in the series before? I can't remember. Means what? Goodbye, little Olivia. Mm. That's the title of the episode. I think. That Tony Hawk. Hey, the boys. What's up? I can imagine how you feel. Hey, well, uh, what are you going to do? <laughs> Damn, remember when Christopher was shot and almost died and went to hell? Wild. He's like, anyway. <laughs> what are you going to do? Um, at least she didn't suffer. Thank Absolutely. God. Yeah, what do you even say right now? What next, huh? That's her parents. I want the fuck, goddamn fucking bitch! She was so awful. What? What do I tell my kids when their own family would come to a funeral? Take it easy, I'll handle it. Wait, Janice isn't coming? And then he goes, you gotta work on Columbus Day weekend. Hey, Jake's baby. Hey, it's garage. You're not coming to your own mother's fucking funeral? May I speak? You got your sister sobbing. May I speak? Go the fuck ahead. <sighs> you may recall, Tony, that I have very good and valid reasons why I should not present myself in the state of New Jersey. Mm, she has a point there, though. She didn't even want a funeral, Janice, but can't you come sit with your family? She was your mother. Well, you can just get on a plane before us working folk. Oh, listen to this. What do you got three over here? You know, they got special rates for family debt. Which, at this late date, comes to $1,100. Fully researched and everything, huh? All right, fuck it, I'll pay it. Can I bring my fiancé? Fuck that. One seat. Coach. And if you don't show up, let me tell you right <laughs> now. Don't come breezing in here when it comes time to cover up the estate. Fiancé? He's like half her age. Well, we know Janice shows up thanks to the thumbnail, but, um... Yeah, I don't know if it's a smart plan for her to show her face here again. Let me make you a cup of tea. Well, listen, Ma, I came over to give you something. Here. And when you need me more, just say so. I'm making plenty. We don't want your money. I'm taking care of Ma. Money don't mean nothing to me. No, I guess not. But with no heart and no brains, it's all you've got. You'll need it. Damn. Tommy, Tommy. Oh, Tommy. Uh, we're talking about you, Tony. His mother died last night. Oh, shit. Whistling. Who comes out of the bathroom with a box of cereal? Damn. Out with the old and with the new, I guess? Oh, I'm so sorry to hear. What are you gonna do? I don't know how you feel. Who are you? We lost mom last year. You remember? He's like, uh... I feel like this guy's still gonna try to kill you someday. Like, I know it's you, you motherfucker. Oh, Ralphie, I, I need to talk to you, and, uh, Albert, you two. We do, I'm sure you're down. Oh, no, she's gone. Oh. Come on. All right, what's happening here? All right, who gave the order to torch one of Albert's trucks? One of the trucks. Be quiet, Albert. Talk to him. He lit up two of my dumpsters. What's the matter with you? Both of you. We're in the newspapers every fucking week with this shit. My crew. Is in line for the rarity. Oh, I know this guy. Contract, okay. What did you say? Who's crew? You're the boss. You get to put in anybody you want over the crew. You're a captain, Ralphie. When I say you're a captain, you're gonna get killed with me. Or my mother lying dead. We're in Township. The recycling manager over there, Joe Zachary. But he keeps playing footsie with Albert. The next minute, he's threatening to go to the EPA, bust us all. He said that. I fix it. No more. Fires. Mm, I almost forgot about the stuff at the beginning. In the newspaper said retaliation expected or whatever. Mr. Soprano, Janice, Bob, please accept my condolences. I'll use all my powers, all my skills. 
Uh, don't go crazy. Then we're not envisioning any uh, visitation hours for Mom? Well, you see, she didn't want any service of any kind. I find that hard to accept. Wow. Is, uh, is she still down at the hospital morgue? We brought Mom here this morning. She's downstairs. Oh, boy. But this is going to be a priest or something, though, right? Well, yeah, sure. A priest, I guess. But uh, what would that be? You're not having a funeral mass? And I'm not trying to sell here. Well, she was Catholic, but not religious. <laughs> I mean, I, I do know what Mom's wishes were, but not to have a wake or a funeral. I mean, it makes us look like we're unloving children, not to mention cheapskates. Who gives a shit what it looks like? <laughs> the woman expressed her wishes. Seamus, do you want to go? Now she's coming here, and now it's just like the <laughs> the concerned, loving daughter. And he's the heartless. Wait, you think we should do something brother. now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ganged up on by your sisters, bro. It's over. No, I'm sorry. My condolences. None. How do you feel, Tony? Actually, that's good. It's a relief. <laughs> Everybody else all bullshit. The way she just cocks her head, just watching. Like it was just some sort of like lab experiment. She like right, throws a question back at you. I'm glad she's dead. Jesus. And I wished she'd die. Wished. Got this court case coming up. She might have testified against me, so. That's a horrible way to look at it, but I understand what you're saying. How do you feel about the fact that your own mother would have testified against you? Oh, come on. Will you listen to yourself? I mean, is that right? Wish, wishing her dead? Is that being a good son? I mean, bad sons are... Bad sons what? They should fucking die. That's a fucking miserable, disgusting thing to be a bad son. I mean, your kid up at Bard. He better be a good son, right? You know what? You're right. Why, why the fuck should I be a good son to that, that fucking demented old bat, that fucking selfish, miserable cunt? Mm. She ruined my father's life. Oh, yeah. But he wasn't her son. What did she do to you? We both know. You don't like to say it, do you? Who knows if she even knew what she was doing? Grown children often secretly wish for an aged parent to die. And it's not necessary for the parent to be a witness for the prosecution. It's a taboo thought, but common. Particularly if the parent has lost all capacity for joy at being alive. Hmm. So we're probably done here, right? She's dead. Running away from your problems. Is that really the only reason you're here? Your mom? What are you doing? Um, I'm downstairs. What the hell are you doing? Hey. Mom would want a closed casket, don't you agree? Definitely. You know, they, oh, they she's looking like for the money. The what do you think? She thinks there's money buried in the house somewhere. Ah, because there's something here, right? You know, this is fucking weird. None of my childhood schoolwork or artwork or anything for that matter is here anymore, and nor Barb's. Get the fuck out of here. Anthony Soprano, seventh grade, Mr. Martino. I had him. Why Fear Strikes Out by Jim Purcell is a good book. Well, take a look. She only saved yours. What are you talking mm. about? Your communion certificate is your baby shoe. Yeah, that's it. Where's your stuff? Nothing of mine. Mm. And head? What are you doing? Oh. Oh, she got the best hit. Every little bit helps. Anything to get through these events. <laughs> okay. There's someone here. Is that what he's putting together? Someone's wearing a wire here? Hey, Uncle June. In the calzone with legs. What a fucking blow. Not you too. I'm serious. <laughs> Not you too. <laughs> I mean, it's his damn sister. Of course he's going to be sad. Damn. She's my sister-in-law. Yeah. Her sister-in-law. My dad's very ill too. Oh, thanks. 
Thanks for coming. You all right? They're dropping like fucking flies. It's all that charcoal broiled meat you people ate. Nobody told us till the 80s. I'm kidding you, you old fuck. What's the matter with you? No one told us till the 80s. Buckle, I said you wanted to see me. I gotta talk it out. Charcoal broiled meat? Good deal. Come on. This is a funeral. Enough of a swanye attitude. There they are. How's that surfboard I gave you? Yeah, what the? <laughs> that old man strength. <laughs> Rafi Sefavetto. I got word to me. So what does he want? He wants to bump up the captain. The kid's been a top fucking earner ever since that rat bastard went in the program. You can't deny it. But three months ago, by you, the rat bastard was the second fucking coming. Why do you do this to me? Because I'm the boss of this family. You forget. I forget nothing. Don't make me say things to you we'll both regret. Go ahead. I'm fucking fed up. Mm. I'm on the street. That's the arrangement. Stay home. Clip your coupons. Be a happy man. Things are good. I grant you that. Mm. But this economy is so robust, you get credit for shit you had nothing to do with. You better be finished. Thank you for mm. Here's the wire guy. What would he have picked up? Joe Zachary? Yeah. Oh boy. No fires. Tony doesn't want any fires. The Lord bless her and keep her. The Lord make his face to shine upon her and be gracious to her. The Lord lift up his countenance upon her and give her peace. Amen. Did you talk to him? She is sure you said something to him. He won't discuss it. He clams up. I want to thank you for all you've done for her. She was much work, but in the end, she defeated me. Anyway, I'll be moving into the house, so if you could just get your stuff out of there by this week, and I think that would be good. I stay there only during week when my fiance has his children with him. Tony says, I can continue situation till Bill and me find house. Oh. I'm going to be living at 55 Benedict while we deal with the estate. Um, speaking of which, my mom had this kind of extensive record collection. Many of them were in mint condition. Do you know where they are? She gave to me those records. But those are my mother's records, and I, I feel very close to them. I don't want to make it trouble. I feel I have to respect her wishes. Oh, come on. This is just about you bogarting those discs for your ass. Uh, you want to talk. I want the entire discography back at the house by this weekend. This is S. Hey, 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 hey. How are Artie. You? Sit down. How's your mother? Mom passed away. Really? When? This is season two That's conversation. Please. Give him my request. When she told him about Tony, right? And he went up to him with a shotgun. Is that that episode? <laughs> Why are we jumping back here? Uh, still. Oh, what's the matter? After what my son did to you. Oh, how can I look you in the face? What did he do now? Mm. Buddy. Oh, what are you doing? He's just thinking are about people it. People arriving. Let's go. Is this something eating away at him? Look at her. She's already becoming a robot. I'm so sorry about your grandma. Well, at least she didn't suffer. Patience <laughs> is gone. <laughs> Come to that point in the service. Hush! Out of the horses. I'm walking out with the privilege, and I think he thinks I smell like that. <laughs> Man, they have big ass parties. It's a survivor show. Somebody should find the winner. Stick a pistol in the face. What the? Was that pussy? <laughs> and we can find out where they live. No. See how good you survive this? Pizza in there. <laughs> Everyone, please. What the hell? Did At I just see that? I would like to ask you all to join us in the great room. Get comfortable so that we can all be together and share um, a remembrance or a a feeling about the woman who has brought us all here today. God damn it. <laughs> Janice, what are you doing? Very good. If any of you guys have stuff from my mom, I need it all back by this weekend. 
<laughs> Have any of you seen? <laughs> Herman? Rapkin? Oh, um, you're just gonna call on people? Oh, this sucks. You two went back? Almost to the pyramid? Hey. Your mother was very lovely. I guess and what struck me most was... Someone will miss her. <laughs> she didn't mince words. Not me, but someone. Between brain and mouth, there was no interlocutor. Oh my Jesus. She's about to go off on someone. Oh, I can already feel it. It's about to blow up. Anthony Jr. I don't know what to say. Motherfucker. Not from Janice. Move on. Damn, no one's... My best friend. Who, who's talking? If anybody died or was in the hospital, I could be sure I'd get a call from Lee letting me know. Thank you, Fanny. Thank you. Tony. Jesus. Okay. When I was a child, my mother didn't let me rest on those laurels. She didn't flatter me. She believed that wildflowers blossom best among the rocks. Little water. She was tough. But she was right. And Who's she's behind you? I make videos today. Tony, maybe you'd like to tell them how Ma saved all your childhood schoolwork and varsity letters and um, none of mine are Barbara's. Why are you doing this? You just did. Wrap it up, Janice. This is awful. I know Olivia wasn't the best person, but this is awful. I hear she didn't suffer. For that, we can be grateful. Thank you. So tell him she's dead. I guess our little secret. Oh, you're drunk. You're gonna say with her. Whoa. Oh, that's not good. What am I doing out here? Everybody's in there telling stories of her. Yeah, and you're I the cook. Artie. Artie, don't talk about that. Uh oh. The soprano may have passed, but who's to say there is uh -oh. another Mrs. Soprano? This might be good. Oh, this might well, be really good. Maybe not. All right, shut up, Chris. Fears and what? paranoia, but the saying. Adriana looks good. What I'm good. saying is, thank you, Chris. <laughs> what the fuck is he like? Frozen? Trying to reboot? Restart? Oh my God! He's gonna um, say it. No. This is such a crock of shit. Yes, oh, someone say something. I'm sitting here thinking I should protect my children from the truth about their grandmother on the one hand. On the other, I'm saying to myself, what kind of example am I setting? Evading and smiling, passing out cheese puffs over a woman that we all know was I didn't get a cheese puff. Who spread no cheer at all. Carmilla, be quiet. This is my house. I'm leaving. What a talk, goddammit. Get down No, you. I'll speak if I want. God damn it! who are you? Well. We sat them for years under the yoke of that woman. Years. God damn. You wanted it, you got it. <clears throat> here, here. Oh, Lord. From beyond the grave, even. This is a woman who didn't want a funeral. She didn't want a remembrance of any kind. Why? Because she's a vile human being. She wouldn't write down her memories for her grandchildren because she figured nobody loved her enough to read them. This is really sad. Um, there's, uh, desserts. Okay. In the dining room, if anybody wants some. Thanks. And pick up your own damn trash! <laughs> no, no, Tommy boy. You're my baby. You're going to get well and strong. All of us together again. I'm almost glad this happened. <laughs> yeah? This is Mike. Fine. Ma, they're bringing Tom home. They are? When? Right now, he's on his way. Oh, it's wonderful. I knew my baby would come home. Oh, 
Oh my god! He's getting emotional. Oh my god. Alright guys, so that was The Sopranos Season 3, Episode 2, titled Proshai Levushka. Hell of an episode. That was probably one of my favorite episodes of the entire series. I don't even know how many times I've said that the entire series thus far. But this is like, it was unexpected. A lot of shit was just been thrown out there. Like a lot of like people's personal feelings have been laid out there. Like people, there's, not, there's very little secrets left. You know what I mean? Livia's death came out of nowhere for me. I did not expect that at all. Like I said earlier, or I've probably even mentioned it um, many, many, many times throughout the series that I thought Livia was just going to be this um, this puppeteering force, this manipulative force behind the scenes the entire series. That's what I thought. I, if anything, I thought Uncle June was going to bite it before her. Like, I don't know what I thought. I just thought Livia was the grand master of evil. But the fact that she died and was still able to have this hold on the entire family just kind of draining everybody's life forces it, it's it's crazy like even in death like Carmela even mentioned even in death look at look what she's doing to us and that's insane so i thought what was going to happen was it was going to kind of like Janice's return was going to tie into the Richie storyline. And they did kind of touch on that. Tony said something like the story is Richie got uh, tangled up in the witness protection program and he took off or whatever. So basically people think he's, he's out. He, he's, he's out on a dodge, but I'm guessing at some point someone's going to think, no, that's bullshit. And if stuff like, um, what happened in this episode? Like, what was it? Carmela's father? He was like, no, god damn it. I'm going to say that woman's just evil. You know what I mean? I'm just going to say it, what I'm going to say. I was like, yeah, that's right, old man. Say what you need to say. Because at this point, it was either someone else is going to say it or Artie was going to say it. And I don't know if you want Artie drunk as fuck. I mean, he wasn't that drunk. I mean, he was, he was tipsy. And he was mad. But he was sober enough. To realize, okay, maybe this isn't a good idea. <laughs> I have some desserts, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> so, crazy. I don't know. Then you have the whole thing with Meadow and her friend who is Jewish slash black. I believe that's, um, that's what they said. And then Tony has a problem with it because he doesn't want the mixing of, of whatever, of what, affiliations? Of, of different... Racist? I don't... What? That just seems very... <sighs> Racist? <laughs> I don't know. I, how, how else do I put that? Like, there's... For whatever reason, in his mind, he doesn't want his daughter, or son, probably, to get mixed up, mixed up, literally and figuratively, with the other race, or another race in general. That's that's really it's really shallow. It's kind of sad, and I'd be pissed if I was Meadow too. But then on the flip side, and I'm not saying it's right. But on the flip side, has Meadow had these problems before? Because don't tell me that she's in college and all of a sudden she has in, she's interested in boys. Because she's brought boys over to the house before, and they were white, so she knows, right? So why would she bring this guy over the house, knowing what is what her father's like? You know what I mean? So it just feels like, was she trying to test him somehow? Was she trying to see what her father's reaction would be? Because there's no way in hell she thought she was just going to sneak this guy in and they're going to watch a movie and then sneak him out. Was that the plan? Because that's a dumb plan. So as we start peeling back the layers of, how, of well, why certain things happen, it just makes me wonder what Meadows... like intention was like she says it was a he was a friend and they're watching a movie they're gonna go get a cd and do laundry or whatever the fuck and then they were gonna come back but then tony said something ruined everything and 
uh, Meadows Mad. So I don't know how long the, the storyline is going to kind of like take. I don't not not necessarily in like a bad way, but I wonder how far reaching this plot thread is going to um, go. Like, is Meadow just going to be mad at her dad all season? In the same way that um, Janice is going to be mad at Svetlana for having the, the discography that she wanted. Something that uh, her mother just gave over to Svetlana. And here's the thing. Now, I know Janice is like scummy and whatever, but in Janice's mind, if I was Janice, I would wonder this. If my mother had all this stuff, and then she has a maid, and Janice, not not Janice, uh, Livia went through a couple of maids, right? Not maids, but like housekeepers or like live-in nannies to kind of like take care of her, right? She didn't like the 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 black one. That, that was like season one or something, right? And then she, she's been through a few. So I don't necessarily know if we've seen Svetlana many, many times, but she seems new to me. And if I was Janice, I would wonder if Svetlana stole from Livia. Because Livia's not necessarily all there anyways. And if she has valuable items, unfortunate as it sounds, there are healthcare providers that would take advantage of that. And it sucks, but people do prey on the elderly. And I'm not saying it's right because Livia's a bad person. I'm just saying, do we believe Svetlana? Because, you know, all of a sudden, Tony has this argument with her with his mom. And then hours later, she gets ready to go to bed and she's dead. Massive stroke. And Svetlana's the only one there. So it does feel like there could be something there if I was watching it from the outside looking in. I was like, who's this lady? And why is, you know, you know, you know what I mean? It just you gotta like look, check all the boxes. Like look at all angles. You know what I mean? Um let me scroll through this, see what else is going on. Yeah, I'm definitely interested to see where all these storylines kind of like wrap up or they're kind of like headed off to. I guess what I'm most interested in right now is now Janice because she's going to be taking with her all the drama and she has a fiance back home. Who I'm guessing is going to kind of like get involved and in, get involved some way somehow. Probably like throw a wrench in the plans. He's probably gonna find out what's going on here. We saw Janice like listening, like knocking on on uh, areas of the columns downstairs in the basement. She's looking for money. She's looking for everything because she wants to like basically um, milk whatever assets her mother has, you know, to to the very last drop. And then she's also gonna be fighting Svetlana for the for the position of staying in the house because Tony promised it to Svetlana. But Janice is like, no, I'm going to be here. So they, there's like a lot of stuff happening right now that's set up. And this is like season three, episode two. Man, season three is shaping up to be like a really, really awesome season. Um, and with all the drama that kind of like happened with like at this uh, wake right here with the true feelings coming out, like th there's a lot happening. And I'm like into every storyline right now. So unfortunately... I don't think there's anything else to talk about because I do feel like the story right now is like really good. And I really like how they kind of intercut it with the public enemy, that old timey time movie. And I'm, I'm probably going to look it up, but I'm pretty sure they remade it. And I'm pretty sure I saw it because they had like Johnny Depp in it. I could be wrong about that though. Tony, once again, uh, he just wants something with Melfi. He's like, he always teases, like, this is the end, right? My mother's dead, and that's it. Don't need to come back. But he'll be back. Um, what did I just see here? There was something else here. Oh, the FBI. Yeah, everyone's kind of, like, all on the up and up right now. So I guess it kind of all depends on what happens next, who makes the next move. I'm guessing the Richie storyline is going to be, like, who killed um, Uncle Richie is going to be the next big thing to kind of, like, get the ball rolling for the rest of the season. Uh, rest of the season as far as the narrative goes so great episode probably one of my favorites and uh yeah i think i'm just gonna end it there all right guys if you guys enjoyed my review join my action guys will see this episode with me in its entirety the options available to you right now over on patreon links in the description down below or pin in the top comment if you can't support me on patreon you can support me 
right here on YouTube. All I got to do is like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Now I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys next time in the next episode of The Sopranos. should be season three, episode three. Until then, adios, guys. And if you liked what you saw, tell your friends, tell your family, tweet about it. And if you didn't like it, shut the fuck up.